So are you still hands on with a lot of projects or are you kind of like removed and like more guiding the, the project? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm hands on on select projects more so as a strategist these days. I'm not doing really any design anymore. Every once in a while, you know, people's time lapses or, you know, things just dovetail in a way where it's like, okay, somebody needs to fill this, this gap that is emerging. Can somebody offer a few extra design hours? Things like that happen. Um, so every once in a while I'll dive in, but for the most part, I don't really do any design anymore. I don't really do any copywriting anymore, um, outside of my own personal, you know, writer's journey. Um, but in gumbo, I'm more of b building up the operations team, small business development. So I'm building up about six new business ventures within gumbo, the broader umbrella of gumbo this year, so that we can start removing ourselves from kind of all eggs in one basket type of model that we have right now in services. Um, building up teams, culture, stuff like that. Um, and then on projects, I worked maybe on one or two projects as opposed to, you know, 11 to 12 in the past. Right. And that's mostly in a strategic capacity. So I obviously tell that you're passionate about it. Um, yeah. It seems like, did you play sports in high school, right? Were you active or? Because I see the, the gumbo. Was definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I was definitely active. I did, um, I did basketball. Um, I wasn't in high school basketball or anything. It was all like church league stuff. I was kept it more recreational, more fun, uh, especially because our high school was, was pretty trash anyway. Um, so I don't <laughs> think it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of work with not a lot of rewards. So um, I did, uh, yeah, I did a lot of college ball, did a lot of intramurals through college. I mean, I'm sorry, high school ball, a lot of intramurals through college, stuff like that. So I've always stayed active. And then I did my first marathon in 2014, um, year after graduating. And I think I was just at a period where I was just like, I just needed to prove to myself that I could do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't train properly. I didn't really have a community to do that. Um, but I did it and um, struggled through it. And then <laughs> years later, but through that, I found running, right? Running became not like a big passion of mine, but something that I could depend on to get exercise. And uh, it was healing in some ways too. And uh, my partners actually became kind of an avid runner. Um, while I was away doing some work, she did like a 30 day running challenge and she just, she stuck with it. She's still with it. She's at an, she's at a workout right now. Um, and, um, uh, Nike approached her, uh, we'd already started gumbo, uh, for, and been doing it for a couple of years and Nike approached her. They were finding leaders in the community and she'd kind of naturally risen as a leader. Um, and they decided to kind of invest in her in a way. Um, they didn't like pay her anything, but what they wanted to do was help provide, some of the capital and more so more of the in-kind support to be able to start kind of a running initiative on the south side of Chicago, which is where we lived. And there was really a stopgap in the folks that were able in, in communities like that on the south side of Chicago at the time. Now there's not, now there's a lot on the south and west sides. And I think Gumbo Fit helped kind of bridge that change. So we built an extension of Gumbo Media, which is Gumbo Fit. And wellness had always been kind of a key element of this. And this is more the fitness element of wellness, right? So we built that out, um, you know, we're told, it's going to be tough to start, but you just got to be consistent. As long as you're always showing up, people will show up. And we did. We showed up every Saturday morning for, you know, runs, even when it was really cold outside, even when it was just me and Courtney ended up taking a run by ourselves. Nobody else showed up, right? But eventually people started to come out. Um, we got a couple features in Nike, which helped a lot and really propelled the community. And um, and now it's, it's a big initiative powered by Nike Running, and we're working on some really amazing ideas. And Anybody wants to check out Gumbo Fit is in Chicago, wants a running community, check that out. Even if you're not in Chicago, you just want inspiration, check that out. It's just Gumbo Fit and Gumbo Media, respectively, on, on IG. Um, but it's it's really become its own thing. Like, it's just, it's a massive, massive community of runners and fitness enthusiasts who are just coming together to run together. Uh, very based in black and brown running and fitness communities, but there's a broad, broad swath of people coming out just to support because they like the vibes, right? Um, holding each other accountable, um, just having fun with each other and, and enjoying this this as a way to, to release and get healthy. Now, will, will you have a Gumbo Fit LA or uh, is that in the cards? Yeah, we're figuring that out. Um, I think Courtney's when COVID happened, we really had to like burrow deep to like make sure that we could sustain these communities. And so I really became the leader of Gumbo Media and she really became the leader of Gumbo Fit, even though we co-founded both of those together. Um, so she's she's kind of leading that charge. There are some models. I won't I won't share them yet because they're still very much in the ideation phase um, and you know don't want to overcommit or overpromise anything. But 
we're, we're working on some really cool ideas for how we're going to help sustain both of those communities, regardless of where you're at. And so there are ways that we're hoping to bring more of a presence to Los Angeles and really all other places. Um, I don't know how much of that presence will be a physical presence. And I think part of that is also not wanting to assume or jump the gun on trying to understand what the needs are in LA. You know, like we lived in Chicago for a long time. We saw what the gap was and we filled it. Um, we don't want to assume that those gaps are here in LA. You know, we want to be able to live here for long enough to be able to understand what the gaps are and then figure out if we're the right people to fill those gaps and in what way, uh, as opposed to just jumping in and, and building a new presence. Because there are a lot of other running groups out here. So to be determined,